Hey YouTube, Homestead Prepper, and uh, I just want to show y'all how y'all can make a uh, no-cost wood-burning stove for camping or for urban survival in case there was ever a disaster or an extended period of time where you couldn't get your electricity up and running or uh, you know your gas line got broke to your home. Uh, this is just a uh, a metal bucket that I picked up out of a dumpster and it had uh, metal spikes in it and they weren't galvanized and neither is the inside of this so you don't want anything galvanized and uh, you don't want anything that had uh, polychloral bisulfates or you know dioxins or anything nasty any type of nasty chemical in there um, and what I did is I just drilled a couple holes in the bottom here and uh, I used I use my uh, unibit, that's a one inch Klein unibit, a step bit, uh, Linux makes a nice one. I, I don't recommend y'all buy one uh, if you're just going to be doing a small project like this. I use this all the time, this lasts for years. You could also use a, uh, a hole saw, this is Greenlee one inch hole saw, you could drill it out or if you're really in an emergency and you're pinched for tools, you could just take a hammer and a screwdriver and you could you could punch some holes in there and make an effective wood stove. Now I know some of y'all are saying that uh, well that's not as efficient as a rocket stove. Well I'm not going to argue that but um, it, it is a whole lot cheaper because it's it's free and um, uh, not everybody has the tools or the metal working skills like BC Truck does to make your own. But this is uh, a very efficient stove, and uh, like I said, it's very easy to make. And uh, like I said, if you were in a grid down situation, this is going to boil water, it's going to cook your food. Um, and I'll show that in just a minute. Now, uh, another idea that I've got is uh, a lot of people have, j just about every, well, not everybody, but a lot of people have the very common gas grill. And uh, during a grid down situation, you know, everybody knows that uh, you can use your gas grill uh, until you run out of propane. But uh, what I've done with mine, which I have a dilapidated gas grill, and I've uh, fixed it up a little bit. And uh, I'll just start to show you all a little bit of what I did here. Now, uh, you don't need to go out and buy one of these because uh, they throw them out because they get dilapidated like this one. I bought this one in uh, the year 2000, so it's 13 years old and uh, it has seen better days. But you can convert your uh, standard gas grill into a tri-fuel grill. Uh, it can run on propane, wood, or charcoal. And uh, that's what I've been doing with this one is uh, just running wood in it or charcoal, depending on what I was cooking. Uh, these arms over here, they rot it off. so. I took some uh, half inch electrical metallic tubing, EMT, and I bent me a new uh, handle for it. And this is just a piece of scrap plywood that I had on hand. I haven't screwed it down yet. And uh, same thing over here. The wood rotted off here, and this is just a piece of plywood, and it's a scrap. I haven't even cut it, but it seems to fit on there pretty good. Uh, the other thing that was bad on this was this handle rotted away. And, uh, what I did is that's some uh, some of that half inch EMT and I got a stainless steel bolt that goes through here and through there and this is just a piece of oak wood that I got for free I uh, sawed it up myself and uh, sanded it down and that's my handle um, but really what I've done is I've just dumped wood and charcoal in there and been able to cook stuff now this looks pretty bad here but uh, what I've done for that let me get that. All right, this is the old uh, propane manifold, and I think this was replaced once over the course of its life, and uh, they, they, they don't hold up. They're not made to last. This is an aluminum uh, box here. This is going to be around for a while. And like I said, I've just thrown uh, wood and charcoal in there. Uh, one modification I would make is if you have some expanded metal, you could put that down in here and that'll keep the charcoal and the wood from falling out those holes in the bottom and if you have a uh, propane tank I would remove it but uh, what I did 
but I just took a piece of cardboard, fit it down in there, and then I made my template. And I've actually got this that my wood can sit on. And uh, this top rack, you can see, is pretty wore out. You could uh, you could do something like that and tie it on. And uh, it makes a, a cheap, effective grill. And uh, the other one is no cost. This one cost me, I think for the bolts, it was, I don't know, $3 and something for two stainless steel bolts and the uh, nuts to go to them. Oh, and I, the uh, pieces of EMT here, I cut those. Those were scrap left over from this over here, which I paid $1.83 for that piece of tubing. So just want to give you some ideas. Well, let's, uh, let's fire up the... Uh, the simple wood stove and see how it does. Alright, I've got the uh, thing full of wood and uh, what I put at the bottom is what I like to use for timber, being I live here in Florida. It's just plain old dried up palm fronds and uh, they really take off. They make a really excellent fire starter. So let's see how it starts. And that one of course wants to go out. Well, it kind of sucks in there pretty good. It'll really take off here in a minute. And um, I had another piece of uh, expanded metal that I had from a project. This was actually a 4x8 sheet originally and I used it uh, for something else. And this is some of the leftovers. Uh, if you don't have expanded metal, you can uh, you can use the, uh, the racks in your wife's oven. Uh, of course, she probably won't find it too funny, but in a, in a survival situation, the ability to cook food and boil water is going to be more important uh, than those racks in that oven. So, um, yeah, it's really starting to take off. Anyway, I'm going to put that there. And uh, if you need to move that rack and add some more wood in there, you can just get a, a coat hanger and uh, you can uh, pick it up or you can even use make a coat hanger rack if you had to. So that's, uh, I'm going to let that get burning here in just a minute and we'll put something on there. And it's starting to get a little uh, aggressive there and it's just been a, a few seconds. Uh, now what I got here is just a uh, Harbor Freight pot here and I've got some water in it. We're going to put that on there and we'll just see uh, if that in effect will boil water. Put that on there. Now uh, you can also make one of these stoves out of one of these pots right here. A stainless steel would be better but uh, like I said I got that bucket for free. I actually got several of them uh, and I, I uh, at my bug out location I have uh, a couple camp stoves up there like that. They're of course, that one's not in real great shape, but uh, yeah, it's it's starting to cook, and what will happen is it'll it'll get so hot that smoke will disappear. Guys, it, it's been about five minutes since I uh, lit the stove and uh, put that water on top of there and I have a raging inferno and uh, the water started boiling just a few minutes ago. Be careful around here. You can see that's a, a, a good boil, good hard boil. And uh, having something like this, just something simple like that, is gonna, it could make a big difference in your survival. Now I've got a couple of sausages I'm going to cook on that, but, but that fire is uh, it, it's too raging. I'm going to have to wait till it dies down a little bit. But uh, it, it's definitely a very efficient fire. You see there's uh, very, very little smoke. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take some of this water that I boiled. And I'm just going to kind of wet this down a little bit, just like you would on a barbecue grill.
we're going to put a couple sausages up here and see how they do. And I'll have to keep uh, wetting that down so I don't burn them. Okay, looks like my sausages are done. I've got some gloves on. If you don't have gloves, you can use a coat hanger. Like I said, hook that. Or you can use uh, pieces of wood. Anything, you don't want to touch this crate. Um, by the way, that grate at one point actually got so hot that uh, it turned cherry red. Uh, this is a very effective uh, cook stove uh, for no money. Um, now if you look in here, I've got uh, a bunch of fuel still in there. I could let that burn out, but in a survival situation, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour some water on it. Now you can either pour water on it or you can dump it into a uh, stainless steel container or any type of container, a trash can, something you can put a lid on it and cut the oxygen off to it. And you can make some very valuable charcoal that can be used in uh, that converted uh, grill over there. Or uh, you could use it in here again, or you could use it to purify water. Well, this is the Homestead Prepper. Carry on.